I'm not sure how it happened, but it seemed like everyone had a kart racer in the 90s. Mario started the trend in 1992, followed by Sonic, Diddy Kong, Mickey Mouse, Bill Clinton, and even Bugs Bunny getting in on the action. I think the idea of taking this colorful cast of characters and doing something with them outside of what people are used to seeing them in made for a really fun and exciting time. I think that's part of the reason Smash Brothers is as popular as it is. But I'd be remiss in not mentioning Crash Bandicoot's venture into the racing games, Crash Team Racing. This is my all-time favorite game. Of all time. The Crash Bandicoot games were so creative and original, and hosted such a great cast of characters that it didn't make sense not to have a kart racer. The music is bumping, the tracks were so varied while somehow fitting in with each other, and the controls. Oh, the controls. The controls are tighter than a knot on a bow on top of this gift of a game. This game is so popular and successful that it has a remake coming out, hopefully on the day this video goes up. May not happen, but, you know, it happens sometimes. And I thought, what better way to celebrate the release of Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled than taking a look back at this beautiful, fantastic, and absolute joy of a game, Crash Nitro Kart. Oh, you were expecting a video on CTR? Read the title again, you silly. Yes, despite its mixed reception, I absolutely love Crash Nitro Kart, the sequel to Crash Team Racing. And there's so much to love about this game. One of the most common complaints around C and K, however, is that it's a complete carbon copy of CTR. And, for the most part, it is. Let's hop on in and... Insufficient space on memory card. The story is basically the same as the first game. Instead of an alien coming to Earth to challenge everyone to a race, an alien abducts everyone from Earth and forces them to race for their freedom. The almighty and powerful Emperor Velo the 27th, who only appears in a giant hologram of his face. Surely this won't be a Wizard of Oz, man behind the curtain situation, right? Right? And look at this planet. I'm all about being proud of your accomplishments. But did you really need a whole planet modeled after your face? That's like me building a house that looks just like my face. That's a good looking house. But anyways, Crash, Cortex, and their respective cohorts are grouped into teams that have to race for the freedom of the Earth. Just like CTR, there is an adventure mode with hub worlds, but instead of being forced into playing as just one character, you have the option of everyone on Team Bandicoot or Team Cortex, depending on which team you picked at the beginning of adventure mode. And just like CTR again, there's four hub worlds, where in races you win trophies, C and K tokens, and time relics. Four boss characters that give you a key with four in total allowing you to race Velo, and tournament cups that give you gems, so, exactly like CTR. The good news is that Velo actually appears now, and it's not a total Wizard of Oz situation. You even beat the adventure mode the exact same way. You can just drive through and win each race and beat Velo, but that doesn't actually unlock the true ending. You have to get all of the time relics to actually defeat Velo. And, then you realize, it is a Wizard of Oz situation. They played us, boys. Played us like a fiddle in a bluegrass band in Texas. The Velo we've seen is a metal suit, and the actual Velo is a shrimpy alien that is just like the rest of the aliens on this planet. While we're talking about them, let's talk about other characters in the game. Now having the same characters as another racing game doesn't make a game a copy. Imagine if people called every single Mario Kart a clone of the last one because it has Yoshi in it. You're gonna have Yoshi in each Mario Kart. And if they take him out for some reason, you better believe that they'll get a very strongly worded letter from me, I promise you that. Ten of the fifteen playable characters from CTR return, which is to be expected. There are sixteen total characters in C and K, so doing some quick math, that means there are six new characters to play as. And one of them is even Nitrous Oxide from the previous game. Except, he's stuck in a regular car. Which is lame. At least we can ride around in the hovercraft in Nitro Fuel. But the character roster is just kinda weak. There's two characters, Zim and Zam, that are brand new to this game and never appear in another game. Scratch that, they actually appear in Nitro Fueled. So, they're the Crash Bandicoot universe's Waluigi. Always the bridesmaid, never the bride. None of the boss characters from CTR like Papu Papu or Pinstripe are in this game. In fact, none of the boss characters in this game are playable. But I don't think this caused too many frowns. 
The difference here is that these are brand new characters, so there's no emotional attachment to them. The boss characters in CTR were bosses in the mainline Crash games, so it was unique and awesome to get to race as them. But it's still lame that the new bosses aren't playable. Except for Velo. But it's only in his actual form, so... Yay? So the character roster is kinda similar, not a straight up copy. But so many of the tracks in the game are lifted almost directly from the previous game, just with a fresh coat of paint. Crash Cove, Cortex Castle, Ruse Tubes, you can literally take a name from a CTR track, put it on one of these courses, and it fits. If you didn't know the difference, you'd be none the wiser. You can keep it going. Dingo Canyon, Blizzard Bluff, Tiny Tin- Wait. These courses all take place on different planets. Not ones on Earth. How does Tiny have a huge statue of himself in it? On a different planet? Is Tiny one of the original spacewalkers that ventured through the galaxy? Is there secretly a genius behind the tortured mind of this mutated tiger? Bandicoots! I can squash bandicoots! So the roster is similar, story is similar, the courses are way too similar. How does the game control? Well, this, unfortunately, is not a carbon copy. The controls are definitely not arf arful. The controls are definitely not awful, and it's driving a car. Honda didn't sue Ford when they both had a four-wheeled metal machine on the road at the same time, so there's not really anything to copy there. But the tightness of the controls from CTR are sorely lacking in this game. Everything feels a bit looser in this game. Not terrible, but just enough to make it noticeable. Your turns aren't as sharp, even when power sliding, and there are turns that I could not, for the life of me, get down without having to press on the brake, which halts most of your momentum. So you're better off running into that wall and keeping on driving than braking. And the boost system is not the same. While it still has the unique power sliding boost system, there are so many intricacies in the boost mechanics of CTR that I'm not going to dive into it here, because I am not the authority on them. I barely understand them. But here, your boosts don't actually stack. The boost mechanic is the exact same. You press one shoulder button to slide, and press the other one when the meter fills. But you get a boost, and then it goes away. Hopping and power sliding, like I said earlier, are still in the game, so those are nice trademark features that stayed with the series, but the power sliding and boost mechanic was what made CTR so unique and different. There's two new features in the game, though, so you naysayers that say it's a copy can back off, man. First, there's these anti-gravity sections on the tracks, where your cart transforms the wheels to sideways to travel through. Yes. Anti-gravity, way before Mario did it. Unfortunately, it doesn't add anything to the gameplay. Mario at least added the boost mechanic to the anti-grav sections. The anti-grav sections here were added solely for the purpose of making the tracks more varied, like twisting around and looping, or having these tube sections where you can drive completely around the tube, and that's fun. The second mechanic is the Team Frenzy, which actually does affect gameplay. You can play this mode from the arcade menu, which you will never do, so you'll see it mainly in the adventure mode. Remember how I mentioned earlier that there are teams for the characters? Well, this is where Team Frenzy comes in. Let's say you're playing as Crash on a level. You'll have either Coco or Crunch be in the race with you, and if you're near them enough of the race, your Team Frenzy meter will fill up, and when it reaches full, you can unleash it, giving you unlimited access to items for about 10 seconds or so. The AI never has this extra feature. So it can be a little unfair, but you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. Unfortunately, if you're a baller at this game, like me, you'll be so far ahead on the track that you're nowhere near your teammate, and the meter never fills. But you're so far ahead that it would make so little of a difference that it really doesn't matter that much. And something I didn't know until getting the footage for this video is that if your teammate wins a race, you get credit for winning the race too. Meaning you don't technically have to get first. I came in second on this race with my teammate coming in first, so maybe that's why they gave me the trophy. That might have gone differently if I finished in a different position, but I didn't try and figure it out. The music isn't anything to write home about, but it's still really good. It does exactly what CTR did. Match the feel and theme of each course, get you pumped up for racing, and that's about it. There's also a battle arena editor mode, 
where you can design the layout of one of the already made battle courses by placing crates and flags around the map wherever you want. But I'm notoriously uncreative with modes like these, so I never looked too much into them. Seriously. Oracle mode in Halo 3 was the worst. I would just place energy swords everywhere and take off. Is Crash Nitro Kart a carbon copy? Just enough for it to be noticeable. But here's the real problem. It's a carbon copy that isn't as good as its predecessor. I've been thinking long and hard about it, and I think this is the problem that so many people have with this game. If CNK was a game all on its own, no Crash Team Racing to judge it on, people would have said it was a fantastic game, maybe reaching Mario Kart levels, but probably not the better than Mario Kart praise that CTR gets. But because CNK doesn't really improve on anything that CTR did, it automatically gets downgraded in people's minds. Which is unfortunate, because this game has a lot to offer. What's even more unfortunate is that this game doesn't have much more to offer now that every character and track is going to be featured in CTR Nitro Fueled. So there's even less reason to come back and play this game. Even before, I play CTR ritually every year, but I only play CNK once every few years. And surely life will get busier and busier, and if I can play all of the courses in HD and on a stronger console, then I'm probably not gonna plug up my GameCube for this. Did I mention I played this on GameCube? I did. I don't know if that affected it any. I don't know if there's a version between this and the PS2 and the Xbox versions that are better. Probably better than the GBA version at least. Except the GBA version lets you play as Spyro, except Spyro is also going to be in Nitro Fueled. Man, they are just killing every reason to come play this game. Unfortunately, Crash Nitro Kart is just a game that took something another game did really well and didn't hardly expand on it. If you've never played CTR and aren't crazy about Mario Kart, then you might really enjoy your time with this game. But if you're hardcore CTR, you're not gonna miss much by skipping out on this one. But what other game has a robot giving Crash a back rub with a brush? 10 out of 10. Game of the year. Who needs Breath of the Wild when you have this? Thank you so much for checking out the channel today. As of this video going up, I'm going to have a special multi-hour stream tonight to celebrate Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled's release on Twitch, starting at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. You can find me at CoachMax19, which is also my Twitter handle. Follow me there for updates on videos and also posts on when I'll be live on Twitch. If you're watching this video after June 21st, 2019, surely I have a review up by now on CTR Nitro Fueled that you can give a look at. And if not, well then message me and give me the kick in the pants that I need. Until next time, see you later!